Hello, my name is David Litwack, and I'm on the personalized medicine staff in the Office of In Vitro Diagnostics and Radiological Health at FDA. Here, I will be presenting an overview for the following series of lectures by FDA scientists that describe a research roadmap for next generation sequencing informatics. The roadmap identifies important areas in which research is needed to advance our understanding of how to de design, develop, and validate in vitro diagnostic tests that use next generation sequencing. This is an important part of FDA's work to advance regulatory science, which is defined as the science necessary to develop new tools, standards, and approaches to assess the safety, efficacy, quality, and performance of all FDA regulated products. But of course, research in the area of NGS informatics will be important for everyone involved and in the development in, and use of NGS-based tests. The roadmap that we will describe was in many ways motivated by President Obama's Precision Medicine Initiative, or PMI. Announced in January 2015, the mission of the PMI is to enable a new era of medicine through research and technology that empowers patients, researchers, and providers to work together toward development of individualized treatments. Recognizing the importance of genomics to advances in precision medicine, the PMI directed FDA to develop ways to regulate NGS-based tests. Before diving into more specifics about FDA's plan for the PMI and the importance of the research roadmap, I want to briefly provide some context for this work. NGS tests are regulated as devices by FDA's Center for Devices and Radiological Health, or CDRH. The mission of CDRH is to assure that patients and providers have timely and continued access to safe, effective, and high-quality medical devices. In the context of the PMI, this translates into protecting patients by making sure that NGS tests are safe and effective and promoting innovation by enabling new high-quality tests to get to market. To assure that any IVD, including an NGS test, is safe and effective, an FDA reviewer will look at several elements. First, analytical validity. Does the test detect the correct analyte, and does it do so accurately and reproducibly? Second, clinical validity. Is the clinical meaning of the analytical result supported? Does the test correctly identify the disease or condition? Third, labeling. What does the test developer say that the test will do? A test that measures blood glucose may have different requirements for accuracy than a test that determines if a tumor contains a specific genetic variant. In this context, FDA developed a plan for the PMI to create a regulatory approach that accommodates the innovative potential of NGS technology. This approach will provide the same assurances of safety and effectiveness, and at the same time, a streamlined path to market for NGS-based tests, one that will enable frequent modifications to tests as new NGS technologies and clinical evidence are developed. There are four components to this plan. The first is developing a regulatory and policy framework designed for NGS. The second is the use of community-based standards to assure analytical validity. The third is the use of databases of genetic variants to provide the evidence that supports clinical validity. And finally, the fourth component is to advance regulatory science to provide new knowledge that will allow FDA to more efficiently evaluate the analytical and clinical validity of NGS-based tests. The research roadmap is an important early step in this process. Another early step is the creation and release of Precision FDA, an open source platform that will allow FDA and the community to collaborate in answering questions posed as part of the roadmap. Both the research roadmap and Precision FDA address only a part of the entire end-to-end -end NGS test pipeline, namely bioinformatics software that converts raw sequencing data into variant calls. The data processing steps underlying this conversion are complex, and the analytical performance of an NGS test depends on the software that is used, and also on how that software is used. Today, there are many options for assembling a bioinformatics pipeline with rapid evolution of new approaches and solutions to data processing. As a result, it is frequently the case that different labs may obtain different results. For instance, as just one of many examples, this figure from Pabingar et al. This demonstrates the use of different informatic tools 
that can result in different and only partially overlapping sets of variant calls. Better understanding of bioinformatics and new strategies for calling variants is just one need. Such an understanding will allow FDA to more effectively regulate NGS-based tests. To begin to address this need, FDA as part of the PMI developed and released Precision FDA. Precision FDA is an open source cloud-based platform that will uh, allow us to better understand, develop, and improve existing and new bioinformatics approaches for processing genomic data collected using NGS. Using Precision FDA, FDA seeks to answer practical regulatory science questions, such as which reference sequences and data sets are best suited to support the development and validation of NGS bioinformatics tools. Specifically, Precision FDA hosts shared tools, open access resources, and challenges that allow the community to test, pilot, and validate approaches to NGS. For instance, NA12878 FASTQ files are available on the site, and users may determine the performance of their own bioinformatic pipelines on those files and benchmark that performance against other pipelines. Moreover, various informatic tools have also been provided and users may determine how those tools perform on their own datasets. Furthermore, users have begun adding their own files and tools to Precision FDA. Over time, a growing body of resources available to the community will allow the platform to accommodate a diverse set of use cases for NGS testing and to measure performance levels and understand trade-offs as appropriate for each application. I would like to highlight the community challenges that have been run on Precision FDA. As an example, in April of 2016, Precision FDA launched the Truth Challenge, which asked entrants to measure their performance of their bioinformatic pipelines on NIST NA24385 reference sequence. 35 participants responded to the challenge and several winners were announced. As an example of one admittedly unsurprisingly finding, most entries did much better at SNP accuracy measures than at Indel accuracy measures. Most important, however, the challenge has created a data set that is available to the community for further analysis. FDA plans to continue to address questions of importance in future challenges. So what are the important questions? FDA collaborated with partners at a variety of institutions to define a research roadmap for NGS informatics, which it published in Science Translational Medicine in 2016. This roadmap highlights nine areas of potential regulatory science investigation for FDA, some of which may be addressed on Precision FDA. These areas include analytical performance, clinical performance, and communication of results, and focuses on questions that we believe should be asked. While specific questions are discussed, we fully expect stakeholders to identify other important questions and to apply their own methodologies to answering those questions. In the lectures that follow, you will hear more detailed descriptions of each of these research areas. We hope that this roadmap will spur further community discussion and research activity and will lead to a better understanding of NGS technology and better ways to develop and validate NGS tests. In the end, this will enable the entire community to bring safe, effective, and innovative NGS tests to patients. Thank you, and please contact me if you have any questions.